All right. So thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to be here to speak a little bit with you guys, bring some messages from Brazil, right? Uh, uh, we're basically uh, working with this open networking ecosystem from since 2018. And, and we basically are the pioneers uh, uh, in Brazil and Latin America uh, developing network solutions. Uh, my name is Victor Fernando Proscurchin. I, I am the CEO of Open Globe. Uh, we are a, a system integrator and distributor for open networking technologies, exclusively open networking technologies. And the idea here is to bring you a success case we have uh, instead of data center and, and telco, which is already uh, uh, widely using open network technologies, we are bringing a specific customer uh, in a health vertical. So the customer is Butantan Institute. Uh, Butantan Institute is the biggest uh, vaccine uh, laboratory in Latin America. They are based in Brazil, uh, headquartered in Brazil. So uh, basically, they, they, they do vaccines for all Latin American countries and, and even uh, Europe and, and some uh, uh, United States as well, some of, of the, the products. And some numbers, they are 90 million doses of flu vaccine, 31 million doses of vaccines against hepatitis and B, C, HPV. Uh, they were very important in the COVID pandemic uh, uh, when they did a partnership with the CoronaVac and they do a local production for more than 30 million doses for COVID-19, 600,000 units. Actually, they are more uh, uh, known in Brazil for the, the venom uh, serums, especially they have a small zoo inside the laboratory. It's very interesting with lots of snakes and reptiles and and, and spiders, when you can see uh, uh, how they, they, they treat the, the, the venom itself until it becomes a, a serum. And the challenge was when the, the volumes starts to increase uh, in numbers of vaccines, especially uh, during the pandemic, we have this boom of the, the, the laboratories to create vaccines. And at the same time, we still uh, need to, to build vaccines for COVID-19 and also for uh, other uh, disease. Uh, there was a, 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 a need of the tracking the lots, the production lots. So in that time, when we approached them the first time, the network was very old with standard architecture that I will leave my friend Rafael here uh, uh, tell you more about it. Uh, they were losing the tracks, and most of the times when you lose this traction for the, 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 the tracking for the lots, you need to destroy the full lot. So there was a lot of losses in, in terms of materials and, and resources and, and timing. So uh, the idea is we need to look for a network evolution to substitute the old legacy uh, network. and. Like most of the companies where we have opportunity to show the open networking concept, there was a budget issue. So they had they have this need of a high-end network enterprise, but at the same time, uh, they, uh, they have this budget challenge. So how to, to have the best in class uh, uh, networking using uh, with limited budget. So then, uh, we, we found them in this situation, and we as Open Globe, we already have some uh, knowledge in, in the time, and we introduced the, the Open Compute Project uh, ecosystem and the, the, the business model and everything. And uh, after the BOM, the comparison, we could uh, show uh, Instituto Butantan that they could have what they want and pay what, with the budget they have. So they realized we have a cost-effective solution. For the first time, they saw uh, uh, a redundant fabric uh, and, and with redundancy, resiliency, instead of the big old chassis they, they were used to, to, to see. They saw the first time the no vendor lock-in uh, uh, concept. 
And at the same time, they notice they will be ready to, to future-proof investments. So if I have no vendor lock-in, uh, all the investments I have been doing now, I can enjoy for, for the future. So now I'll pass the word to my friend Rafael Bezerra. So he speak you, a little bit. My name is Rafael. I'm a solution architect. Basically, I was responsible to deliver, to design the IP Fabric Data Center of Butanta Institute. So the first challenge was, back at the time, a few years ago, they were being approached by traditional big chassis solution, OK? And that most of those vendors was trying to vendor lock in them with big solutions, not scaling, proprietary protocols. And back at the time, our challenge was introducing this institute OCP hardware accepted, okay, in a traditional spine leaf topology, which is very scale, which uh, they can use small use factor hardware with low consumptions, with low cooling consumptions. And uh, in this spine leaf topology, we rely on edge cores, 32 ports, KSFP 28, 100 giga, 77212, and a 7726, connecting the down layer leaf, 58 hours for 10 giga uplinks on the tour layer, and that 7326 for the server farm. Okay, so uh, as I said, they were being approached by traditional vendors with not scaling, not big chassis, and that we introduced then the traditional class IP fabric throughout their data centers with spiner higher capacity of 100 gigaports. And then in the down layer, we have the uplink connections to the spine with 10 giga capacity for the Tor switches and 25 giga for the server farm. With that, with we did. We protect, we protect their investment in terms of uh, scaling, in terms of expansion, and uh, we could provide them a very resilient, a very scaling, and a high availability with high capacity data center network throughout what they like to call customers, which is the customer for them. This is each plant each manufacturer that produce, produce these vaccines. I'll bring back to Victor. All right, thank you, Rafael. Thank you. So the final results, uh, we face a very interesting situation after the, the total solution delivery, was that uh, for the harder perspective, they notice a uh, savings of basically if, uh, almost around 50% savings compared with the traditional player they were used to, 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 to use in its network. And coincidence or not, they have the same savings in, the, in OPEX in terms of services. Because uh, uh, the, the solution used to use, a, 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 the, the CLI is very similar with, with Cisco uh, CLI. So basically they don't need to hire any, anybody we didn't even to, to do, provide any special training. And including us, uh, we use our, uh, uh, our own team. We didn't have to hire more people or, or acquire more knowledge. So with the network uh, knowledge we already have, we were able to, to deliver the total process. So it always bring another 50% uh, savings. So consider that, we consider a 50% uh, total savings in the total CTO, uh, TCO of the project. And uh, one, one funny story uh, uh, we have in, in this specific customer, we feel in the heat uh, the benefit of the open networking and, and we use this in, in every presentation we, we have. There was, they were doing a, a, a some services inside the data center. Uh, they didn't prepare themselves well. And then they have an accident with one of the switches uh, in the rack. So it was a 32 port, 100G switches. And this switch fails, it just burned uh, for whatever reason. 
And, uh, and then they approach us, hey, we need to buy the, the total solution again. I say, no, you don't need You just buy the hardware and you still save the, the software license. So you, you use the same software for the, you just change the hardware. And then they, they didn't realize it yet. But that, so it was funny because after the, the, the total solution provided, they start to enjoy the benefits of the, the open networking. So it, it feels very grateful for us as well. So for future plan, they, they are still investing in the data center expansion. Uh, so they really enjoy the, the, the concept and they'll keep moving forward with the OCP hardware uh, business ecosystem. Uh, we are working as well for, to provide more intelligence to the solution for, with orchestration, observability, and, and, and in this multi-vendor environment. And, and we also uh, have a, a separate uh, task force to extend this open network uh, concept not from the data center, but also for the edge, to the access switches and the, the access points as well. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I would like to stay more talking to us. Uh, it's very grateful for me. Uh, my name is Victor again from Open Globe. Here's my QR code if you, anybody wants to talk to me directly. And you have the, the, the email and website. So if you would like to know more about uh, us and about Brazil uh, evolution of open networking. We'll be happy to, to talk to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions? We are open for questions, if anyone has any. All right. Thank you.